So we can use the container controls located on the layout uh, palettes to group controls and indicators or to display the front panel of another VI on the front panel of the current VI. We also can use container controls to display .NET and ActiveX objects on the front panel. So we can use a tab controls to overlap front panel controls and indicators in a smaller area. A tab control consists of pages and tab. We can place front panel objects on each page of the tab control and use the tab as the selector for displaying different pages. Tab controls are useful when we have several front panel objects that are used together or during a specific phase of operation. For example, we might have a VI that requires the user to first configure several settings before a test can start. Then allow the user to modify aspects of the test as it progresses. And finally, allows the user to display and store only pertinent data. On the block diagram, the tab control is an enumerated type control. Terminals for controls and indicators placed on the tab control appear as any other block diagram terminals.
So we can use the sub panel control to display the front panel of another VI on the front panel of the current VI. For example, we can use a sub panel control to design a user interface that behaves like a wizard. Place the back and next buttons on the front panel of the top level VI and use a sub panel control to load different front panels for each step of the wizard. When we place a sub panel control on the front panel, LabVIEW does not create a terminal for the control on the block diagram. Instead, LabVIEW creates an invoke node on the block diagram with the insert VI method selected. To load a VI in the sub panel control wire a reference to that wire to the invoke node. Because the sub panel control does not have a terminal, we cannot create an array of sub panel controls. And we cannot create a type definition of a sub panel control. We can place a sub panel control in a cluster to group the sub panel control with other controls. So we can place a sub panel control in a cluster to group the sub panel control with other controls. But the cluster cannot, con can, cannot contain only a sub panel control or controls. If the front panel of the VI we want to load is open, or if we loaded the front panel in another sub panel control on the same front panel, LabVIEW returns an error.
and we cannot load the front panel in the sub panel control unless the front panel is re-entrant. We also cannot load the front panel of a VI in a remote application instant and we cannot load front panels recursively. If we load a VI that is not running, so let's disable this. The VI in the sub panel control loads in edit mode. As you can judge from the menus that are available, which are the same as the uh, menus that are available at design time. LabVIEW displays only the visible area of the front panel of the VI we load in the sub-panel control. For example, if we want to load this VI, and we have some controls, that are not present on the visible area then th those controls are not visible in the sub panel after we stop running the vi that contains the sub panel control labview clears the front panel in the sub panel control We can also use the remove VI method to unload the VI in the sub panel control. 